Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Emily and today I have for you a 15 minute inversion practice. So this is great for beginners if you are kind of new to inversions, getting upside down. It's just a great way to help your body kind of get used to being upside down and not getting a bit Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Emily and today I have for you a nice inversion yoga practice. So this is great for beginners if you're new to inversions, new to getting upside down. It's just a nice way to slowly encourage your and open up your body to getting upside down. So we'll get started. When you're ready, come join me on your mat and we'll begin with a nice standing pose, a mountain pose or Tadasana. So standing with the toes together here, and we're nice and active in this asana, so we'll pull the kneecaps up to engage the quads, pulling the belly in and tucking the tailbone down, rolling the shoulders on the back, slight tuck in the chin, and we can open up the palms, and just taking a few breaths here. One more breath. On our inhale, we can just gently take the feet out wider than hip width apart. So we have a real nice wide stance here. We can bring the hands to the hips. Inhale, stand nice and tall through the spine. Exhale, hinging from the hips. We'll fold forwards into a wide forward fold. We can bring the hands down to rest on the mat. If the hands don't quite come all the way down, we can rest our hands on some blocks, like so. Or maybe we rest the hands on the ankles. And drawing the crown of the head down towards your mat here for our first inversion. Tucking the chin into the chest here. The back of the neck is long and we can be soft in the knees, allow a little micro bend. Deep breath. One more breath. On your next inhale, walk the hands to the top of your mat, turn that top foot out so the toes come to the point of the short side of the mat, planting the palms, exhale, step it back to a downward facing dog. And we can paddle the feet here, stretch out your legs. This is one of our most commonly practiced asanas in yoga and is also a nice beginner friendly inversion, a nice simple way of getting upside down. One more breath. On our next exhale, gently bringing the knees back down to the mat. We can untuck the toes and we'll just take a rest here in a child's pose. And we can take this child's pose however we like. We can have the arms extended or down by the sides. Knees can be together or out wide. One more breath. On your next inhale, bringing the fingertips underneath the shoulders and gently pressing into them so we come to sit up on the heels. We can then bring the hips to one side and the legs round in front. And we can just help ourselves come down to lying on our backs here. 
such as casually finding your way down. And walk in the feet in until we can just touch the heels with the fingertips. The feet are about hip width apart here, there's some space. We'll tuck the shoulders under and plant the palms and feet into the mat. On your next inhale, rolling up the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, lifting the hips up into a bridge pose. How nice. Deep breaths here. One more breath. Exhaling, slowly rolling back down the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Bring the knees into the chest for a quick little hug. Maybe a little rock from side to side. And then we'll find our way into a shoulder stance. So a nice inversion again here. Bringing the soles of the feet back down onto the mat. Inhale, lifting the hips up back to our bridge. Then bringing the hands underneath the sacrum. So we will just shimmy the hips from side to side so we can place the hands to support the lower back, support the sacrum, great. Maybe this is far enough, if we can keep going, we'll lift up the left leg and extend it into the air. Maybe we can then bring the right foot to join and we can then begin to walk the hands down the spine, lengthening those legs up into the sky, coming into our shoulder stand. The chin tucks into the chest here. Keep supporting your back with the hands. Maybe the hands come down to the shoulder blades. One more breath here. On your exhale, take the feet up over the head with control. Maybe the toes come to rest on the floor behind you. Maybe they hover like so. Maybe those toes come all the way down to your mats. We can keep supporting our back with the, pa with the palms. And again, nice deep breaths. Feet are together here. We can have a bend in those knees if we need. One more breath. On our inhale, walk the feet out to the sides, minding any plants and walls around you. So we come into a wide leg plow, just as a little variation in the body here. Just a few more breaths. One more breath. Exhaling, bringing one knee in at a time to the chest, planting the palms into the mats, using your core with control, slowly lowering yourself back down. Great. Give yourself a nice generous hug, maybe a little walk from side to side. Then lengthening the legs all the way down to the mat. We'll just shimmy the hips from side to side again so we can, almost like we're sitting on the backs of our hands, just supporting our lower back space here. And we'll inhale, tuck those arms underneath, maybe the elbows come underneath the ribs a little, we tuck the shoulders under, and lift the chest up to our fish pose. We can keep the chin tucked into the chest here, or we can gently let the head 
full back. We're pointing the toes and reaching the chest up, opening up those shoulders. One more breath. On your next exhale, bring the chin to the chest. And then gently coming back down to lie. We can just rock the hips side to side, release the hands, bring the knees back into the chest and give yourself a nice hug. And then when you're ready, using your core, rock yourself back up to sitting. And there we have our nice little inversion practice today. Hopefully you enjoyed that little flow. If you did, please like the video, maybe save for later. Perhaps leave me a comment in the comment section below. And uh, please subscribe to my channel for more free yoga content. Thanks again. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.